Lindsay here and Lee Tucker for our second episode of Beauty and the Beard. And we are here with the amazing <laughs> Hastings and Co. I, I think you could have said amazing last night. This morning is uh, <laughs> like the semi-pro, moderate, adequate Hastings and Co. We forgot to tell her that it's on camera, so she went for a run. Tell, tell us what you did. Okay, so I ran three miles and I am from... New Carlisle, Ohio, a huge city, and it doesn't get super hot there. So I ran three miles feeling like really good, and then I realized I had to run back. And <laughs> everyone uh, in the Keys was scared for my life that I passed on the street. I was like huffing and puffing. It was traumatizing. <laughs> yeah, especially after last night. Yeah. I don't know how you even ran. Um, I don't know, but I always like <laughs> feel like I fit in my shorts better after a great run. Yeah. It's like a psychological thing. It doesn't really do anything. No, literally, we I went to get coffee and some of the girls were asking, how does Kate run on no sleep? And I yeah. said, uh, she drinks lots of five-hour energy. Yeah. Oh, I live on five-hour energy. Like, that's the big thing. And I recently stopped drinking and it like changed my life. Like, I can get up every morning You stopped drinking and run. like alcohol? Yeah. Did? Yeah, I mean we'll see, uh, <laughs> but right now as Lee and I are kick? drinking. What? How long have you been on that kick? Uh, I mean off and on I've tried it for. I knew run times were always better without it, and then like I think it's hard with what we do because you could drink every day like at a show or on the road, and I was like, man, this is gonna like get out of hand, and it, you know. So finally we just it was something I made a personal choice to cut out and started feeling better um can't speak for the rest of the guys and i'm okay with that so i'm now the pusher i'm yeah. like drink for me <laughs> and then everyone dies in the band it really is like being a musician it's really hard to like avoid yeah alcohol. i mean just this event we're in the, for the key west songwriters festival yeah it, it's all day every night i mean lee and i are drinking now yeah. Yeah. let's just be honest well, guys and they have custom cups yes. not sure if you can see it oh, i'm yeah. really right? impressed with yeah. this so these are from um, Southern Sinclair, and they designed these and they put our names on it. Oh, yeah. Can we get some of these? So much. Yeah. yeah, I mean, these are nice. Yeah, they're Hello. so cute. This is my good friend uh, Jonathan Cravey and his wife Shay. Are they and, from uh, Georgia? They're from Georgia, yeah. Good friends of mine. Well, we went to high school together and oh, okay. all that fun stuff. So. One of my favorite things about you ever, and actually my first memory of you, and I told you this last night, not sure if you remember, but I walked into a writer's round and I had this John Deere hat that I was really proud of, and you were like, oh, John Deere? And I was like, um, not sure why that's offensive, but yeah, it is John Deere. And then you're like, where are you from? I was like, Ohio. You're like, they don't farm in Ohio. And I was like, um, this is an owner's edition, and you're like, shit. So, oh, can we cuss one here? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow. no, I was drunk. I was definitely drunk. <laughs> I was like, this guy and I are going to be friends. just an excuse to talk shit to somebody. That's all, <laughs> it, it, that's all he likes to do. I that's know. Why he hey, girl, where'd you get that shirt? <laughs> I don't care what it is. You'll laugh, I'll say it. So. Meanwhile, Josh is the nicest human. Just over here. Just over here being a nice guy. Or is he hungover? <laughs> What, what's not, the real I think story? it's a combo. You're also shaking from a coffee intake. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely, like, yeah. Injected? Right. Yeah, pretty much. I, I went down the street, and one of the things I was really excited about coming back to Key West was just Cuban coffee. Yeah. Like, oh. and, and my favorite place happens to be a block away, and so I indulged this morning. And he indulged everyone. It. Have you ever seen... Why am I talking about the Kardashians again? We've talked about oh, all the oh last my gosh! Oh. When I'm obsessed. He fought with me over who Kim was yesterday, and I said, "Trust me, there are a I, lot of things I don't know, but I do know the Kardashians." <laughs> <laughs> well, there's an episode where they're in Miami or whatever, and Chloe gets addicted to Cuban coffee. She was like, it goes on another street. I, like, of course, it was probably staged, but at like 4 a.m., she's like running around town <laughs> trying to find somewhere that's open for coffee. And that's Josh's future. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, I feel great. really good about it. <laughs> so you guys have a single out now. It's we do. One. Yeah. What's that about? Well, I mean, it's kind of, it was a sleeper single. It was never, I feel like the last two singles we've released weren't ever really in the plans. Like, we're really strategic about everything that we do. We yeah. have a really cool team behind us right now that really believe in what we're doing, which is really like, you know, we both grew up on farms in the Midwest. And so we've always tried to write very specifically from, you know, our roots. I think there's a reason that Luke Bryan, and you're seeing it now with like Morgan Wallen, our, our 
becoming really successful, there's no secret because what they talk about what they know. Yeah. And so you can be like, that's fake country or that's bro country, whatever. I mean, those guys are going to hunt and fish you under the table. Yeah. Right. So we've kind of always been like of that vein. I think like we, we were kind of raised in that same manner. Um, but this single, we... Uh, Zach had written the track first, and it just kind of became a thing. Yeah, we did the, we wrote it with uh, Zach and Colton Swan, the Swan Brothers, uh-huh. and uh, they they brought kind of this energy that we maybe don't naturally bring yeah. uh, in the rights, which was good. It pushed us, and it pushed us in a direction we wouldn't have probably all gone by ourselves. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, we we started out with with this really cool, really catchy track and just started talking about uh, thematically like how everybody's on dating apps now and everybody's looking for the next best thing Yeah. and this song is kind of counter to all of that and um, like in as pop country way as you can do it yeah. just, just like uh, I'm, I'm just looking for one and just the right fit yeah, yeah kind of that cool. idea our parents are both we're, uh, my my dad passed away in the summer, but both of our parents are like, li- like, th- were your parents high school sweethearts? They've all been both been together a really long yeah. time, and so we were just like laughing about the way Nashville dates, and we're like, holy crap! Like, no one is dating just one person. You've always got like no. your side chick, your main chick. Um, I don't. I mean. Not personally, but I, you know, it's just that. I, <laughs> you know, wow. Sad yeah. <laughs> We've got some announcements. In this right? um, and I, I actually recently got in a relationship like two days before Key West, and I have not stopped getting shit about it since I got here. It was <laughs> terrible timing. So speaking of one, I guess I have one. Um, <laughs> though, it'll be worth it afterwards, but right now, like I came last year and I was in a relationship last year, uh-huh. and this is a whole different experience not being in a relationship in Key West. It's, totally it's just weird. different. It's so yeah, fun. Th- different is a great word for it. I'm like, oh my. I mean, he's a great guy. Yeah. Nice guy. Local guy. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just. Is he going to listen to this? Yeah, I'm like, I, I hope, hope not. I mean, uh... I mean, I've been great. I've been good. Uh, good. He's, he's a good guy. Great. Josh is a huge fan. He, so He's the first guy she's dated that I've actually liked. Oh, so, good. Yeah. That's good. You guys have like a brother-sister like relationship, right? Yes. Well, we thought you guys... y'all were married. Yeah, we thought you were married. Uh, oh, yeah. A lot of people do. Yeah. Um, the best part is that people just skip over the dating. So they're like, oh, y'all are married? We're like, wow, just take me to dinner first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, I like to say we're, we're like a married couple with... Without the benefits, yeah. <laughs> Without the perks, <laughs> yeah. What? Who said last night? I said, "What are the perks?" And uh, oh, our friend Madeline's boyfriend was like, "They're pretty specific." So he was like, "If you don't have them, you know you don't have them." So, but I mean, we slept headsies footsies at the bed last night. That's pretty uh, so common. Funny. I think that's our biggest challenge is significant others probably yeah. understanding that Your dynamic. Right? Yeah, because you're. I mean, he's my work wife. Like, I tell him a lot of things, and then you write songs together, and that's an intimate experience. Oh, yeah. But it's never gone there, nor will it go there, because this has always been the bigger plan. Right. So, I mean, lots of people ask, and we'll let them think whatever they want. You know, whatever uh, helps you sleep at night. Well, and not to get too far off topic, but, like, you work with Vinny. Yeah. And uh, he and I had a, a really long talk, maybe a month or two back, about finding someone I mean, I guess this goes back to the single, kind of, but finding someone who actually fits to understands the business or understands at least the stuff that we go through on a daily basis that the average human doesn't doesn't see. Yeah. It's just kind of down and and very... And y'all get that, too, because you work with a ton of guys, right? Like, you're in a band, and so every time you're, like, out on the road with someone, it does, like, I guess to the outside world, and especially where I was raised, like, that is not how you, uh, you know, you're... Like, that's a, not a normal transaction right. with men. And right. so, but, you know, we'll be gone for six weeks and then you're with the same four guys. And there, it, there does become a camaraderie and definitely an intimacy there. It's yeah. just different, you know? Yeah. This business is just weird that if you have to find someone who will understand the craziness of it, it'll just, like, kind of breathe and not get worked up about little things. Like, totally. Like, us with guys. And yeah. Like, it's tough. It's really hard. But speaking of all that stuff... Mm-hmm. 
Can I talk about one of the songs? I don't. You haven't released it, but it's my favorite song. Yeah, yes. go for it. They have a song called SPFU. <laughs> oh yes, and I heard that it's yesterday. Amazing. <laughs> wow. Uh, my mom, any day now, she'll be on board with it. Uh, <laughs> I showed it to her, and she's like, "Oh, that's uh, that's really good songwriting." <laughs> and I was like, "Wow." <laughs> so, it's so cute. I mean, I. We wrote that with uh, Priscilla Block, which y'all had on the oh, last really? thing, oh, and Sarah okay. Jones, which are, I would say, probably our preferred writers in town at this point. Yeah, we just, I mean, it's one of those where you get into the right and you know immediately you have a, a chemistry. Right. But you know, like, the funny thing about this song is Priscilla, you know, just released Thick Thighs, Thick Save Lives. Yeah. And as the hook, and I, we, I came in and I was like, all right, I've got an idea. What if the song is called, I Want to SPF You? And Priscilla's like, that's too far. I think that's crossing a line. And I was like, you? you? <laughs> You're going to tell me I'm crossing a line? And so we laughed it out, and it ended up being a great song. It's but an I awesome just... song. And Big Vinny and I, actually, by the way, if you don't know, because we're right. kind of just mentioning yeah. Big Vinny, he's our trainer, but he is also a trailer choir, and he's still a singer and does a lot of stuff. Um, but he, we're all with him a lot of the time. And we were talking about that song. He was like, that's a hit. Like, we were working out, and he was like, Man, I love that song. I love that song. It's Big so Benny is an example of just like a great champion for new artists in town, I think. Like, he's going to, yeah. you know, if he believes in you, he's going to be on your side and like really push you. And he helped us really understand, like we talked about with the dating thing. Yeah. He's been in all variations of that thing. You know, he was in a band with a girl, so he had really real right. life experience. Right. And so it's like, it's nice to shoot like song ideas, but also personal ideas off of him and just learn from what other writers that have kind of gone before you have done to be successful and to remain like respectable in the business. Yeah. And he and his wife, uh, Jenny, just, they, they're like almost like, they're not old enough to be my mom and dad, but they are like the Nashville mom oh, and dad. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like if I'm having an issue, I like call Jenny and I'm like, can we like meet up for dinner or something? Like, Absolutely. They're the coolest people. They're great mentors. Yeah. So what are you guys doing for the rest of the summer? Well, we we're, shows, yeah, right? we have a lot of big shows coming up. Everything's on, I'm going to make a shameless plug, but it's hastingco.com. But everything else, like no and, just H-A-S-T-I-N-G-C-O.com. Everything else is at Hasting and Co. But we have a full summer lined up. We're opening for a lot of great artists playing. Um, our next big thing is we're playing Hamler Fest in Ohio with um, a newer artist, but um, on Sony ATV named Adam Doliak, mm -hmm. um, who I'm just such a huge fan of, so I'm gonna be fangirling at that show. Yeah. Um, a lot of a lot of festivals this year. Yeah, we we've got a run where we, we play kind of the Midwest slash North mm -hmm. uh, towards the end of June, and then in July we play a few shows like in Ohio, and we're playing uh, with there's a, a local station uh, up in Ohio that's kind of championed us and mm -hmm. yeah. Um, they're uh, they're sponsoring like a thirtieth birthday bash with uh, us and Gretchen Wilson and Jake Owen. Heck yeah! And yeah. So it'll be. I feel like fun. SPF's gonna go over quite well with that guy. <laughs> yeah. I love that song. You also have a song called Brudge Jug. Yeah, that is actually the next single that's coming out. I think July or very early August. Yeah. Um, and w the funny thing about this song is like I don't know how many country people have brunch or well, we yeah. didn't know and so we kind of just started testing it on the road and everywhere we've gone that's the first song we've ever written where everybody's been like hey uh how can i get my wife that song or yeah. how can i get my my cousin that song or my girlfriend you're like what that's what you want to give them Brooks drunk? <laughs> yeah. all right hey have it your way <laughs> so. it's really catchy too last Thank night you. i don't know if i should say this i don't know if it's offensive or not but i can cut it out Do if it. you don't want it in it but <laughs> last night you guys were singing brunch drunk and aj Gaudio, Gaudio, yeah. Gaudio, starts going, when you guys go, drunk, drunk, he starts going, but, stuff, and then, and, then, and, then, and then, I'm singing, like, everyone, then it, we were all just, somehow, AJ, Gaudio, has a way of both making and ruining a night. <laughs> like, I don't know another great artist, you guys, but I have told Josh, AJ, Gaudio is the great mystery of Nashville. Like He's a funny uh, dude. Oh my <laughs> golly. Sometimes he shows up somewhere and I'm like, well the party is it's on. Yeah. Yeah. Like it has just started. So it's yeah. Fun. That's kind of really the full swoop of what's going on. I mean uh the music video to the last single we had, American Love is um has 
really done well for us. It went viral pretty early on, and now it's like being played in airports. Uh, oh, that's yeah. the newest oh, report. Cool. So if you guys are just chilling out in an airport and watching music videos is like your thing, yeah. I guess you can look for it. Uh, like people will send a snap of it, and we're like, what? But I mean, I'm not mad, but wow. No, that's yeah, funny. yeah. That's so funny. All right, y'all. Well, thanks so much for coming thanks out for having and us. doing this. Hope you guys have a rest. Great rest of Key West. I'm sure I'll see you guys oh, yeah. like a bunch yeah. of times. Maybe there'll sure. be another pool party like yesterday. Oh, I'm getting ready to start it right now. All right, well, so fun. That's where we're going with this. That's where we're going. That's how it ends. You got to start somewhere. Right. This might as well have been it. <laughs> I forgot you were here. You didn't talk at all. I know. I'm, He's yeah. I was re waiting for you <laughs> really to like hungover. sling some shit over here, but I, I like the docile Lee. Yeah. <laughs> it's manageable. This is the hungover side of Lee. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>